reasons to DIY for. So this week I decided to go super affordable with a Halloween costume tutorial. The previous two this year were a little bit more pricey and this one you can get everything from your closet and the dollar store. So just put on your favorite dress and I'm going to show you how you can put together a fascinator to be a royal wedding guest as the royal wedding was such a huge event this year. So let's get to it. So here's what I've grabbed from the dollar store to make mine. You're going to need some felt. I have feathers that I previously picked up. Not sure if I'm going to use those yet. Uh, this glitter lace roll I thought would be perfect. And then I also have this, um, this ribbon that's basically almost see-through. All you're really gonna need to put this together is your hot glue gun. So this is just a rough drawing of what I think the shape that I'm going to need is. It's kind of like an oval. Here's what it is in comparison to my hand. And hopefully this works. So you're just gonna wanna cut this out. And this can be the underside so you don't have to worry about all of the pen marks. So I'm just gonna hot glue this together ever so slightly. Often when I saw fascinators at the royal wedding and all those photos, they have this piece that kind of almost has like a netting. That's what this lace is going to replicate. And it kind of sometimes flows off of the piece or flows up. So that's what I'm going to kind of try and do and make a nice looking shape with this piece here. Okay, so I accidentally ran out of space on my camera card. So you didn't see me make this, but essentially it is just some of this ribbon or tool type material folded in half and rolled up to kind of uh, resemble a flower and then I hot glued it again to the base. So I did actually just grab some fake flowers that I think I want to throw into this as well. So I'm going to hot glue those into place and then we'll hide the stem later with, with more because really fascinators you can get outrageous with uh, how big and bold and crazy you want to make these if you just google them you can see lots of different ones online yeah that one just came unrolled we'll fix that so i think i'm gonna actually change this here and just have it fluff out like this again because you can just do whatever you want with these what you can do instead with this stuff because my other idea wasn't working it's just kind of grab it and loop it in different uh, bunches. It kind of is stiff, so it stands up. That's why I picked this ribbon. Maybe another idea, you could job through all of the fabric with a needle. And then you can take that needle, stick it into your headpiece. And then on the underside, you can hot glue around that. What I did is I bent that needle and I'm gonna put a little bit more glue there and I'm gonna cover it up with a small piece of fabric so I don't stab myself in the head while wearing this. Okay, so to be able to put this in my hair, at least I'm hoping this works, I am going to Take a bobby pin, slide a piece of material underneath it, and then I am going to hot glue these underneath here so that hopefully I can slide this into my hair and help hold my, my piece. Nice as what we saw at the royal wedding earlier this year. But 
but I think it's a lot of fun to put together and really it took me maybe 15 minutes. So this is the perfect last minute Halloween costume if you have left it. Uh, throw on your favorite dress. You can pick up those items at the dollar store for maybe $5 and whip yourself together a fascinator. And you can go as wild and as crazy and as big as you want. Just have some fun with it. And if you do, I want to see what it looks like. So follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper. You can tag me in those photos so I can check out your DIY, your Halloween costume, whatever it is. I'd love to see it. And if you are looking for other Halloween costume ideas, I have more on my channel. I will leave those linked down below for you. Otherwise, I'll talk with you next week when we get back to regular DIYs. So don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you then. Cheers.